Hi, I'm Howard from Cyber News and Reviews, Cyber Times LLC. I'm going to talk about a really great Broadway show we saw at the U of M, Lydia Mendelssohn Theater, and this is on October 23rd with my wife and daughter. This play was by Bob Martin and Don Mc McKellar. And I think it was produced in 2006. U of M Theater Department put it on. And it sort of reminds me of the way I am with Broadway. It's sort of you escape from real life. And The Drowsy Chaperone is about a man that just loves Broadway. And he's in his living room and it starts out and he's listening to music and he starts talking to us, the audience. And he gets out an album and he's talking about the Broadway shows of the 20s and 30s and the famous singers. And he puts the, the album in his record player and the show comes to life. It's amazing. And he's so delighted and he's, he's explaining things. He's explaining that the music, the lyrics aren't that great, but the music is okay. And he's just, so involved in this Broadway production and the history of, of Broadway shows and the singers and the dancers and he, he becomes part of the play and he's explaining things like the, he doesn't like intermission because it ruins the mood and and in this particular play the, it's about and it's romance and, and he's explaining about that because that's a wonderful part of Broadway and the music is wonderful and he's saying that there's some of the songs ignore the the lyrics just listen to the music one of the songs was about monkeys it was really stupid but you know he's just so in love with it it's kind of like what when how we are we we started in 2003 and took our family the, our two girls and to broadway and our first show that we saw even though we had tickets for Hairspray. We had tickets for the next night and we took a walk to St. James Theater across the way from where Hairspray was playing and we walked in and we, this is just before showtime and we asked if there were any seats and the woman looked up and said, oh yeah, there's some balcony seats and we were so excited and she paused and said, wait a minute. And she gave us seats, fourth row center orchestra and I think I know what this man was talking about because when when the show started and the overture started, we knew we were in New York. It was just so amazing and the, the show was just so much fun. The way this man feels, he's so excited about Broadway shows and the music and orchestra and that was what was so great about this, this play within a play. It was about the excitement of going to Broadway and seeing the shows and listening to the music and there's a lot of great shows in Ann Arbor, U of M Theatre Group. Also, there's Gilbert and Sullivan. We go see them a couple times a year. It's an independent group that puts it on. And one of our favorite shows that we've seen is Rent. It's pretty moving. The songs are great. And there's a Michigan connection. The producer is from Michigan, Jeff Seller. You know, the Drowsy Chaperone did not have an intermission. This is a great show. The actor did a great job playing the man. and. The cast was really great. They even had one scene where they started out some type of Asian scene and, and it, it was wrong. It wasn't supposed to be in the play. And he, he gets up and says, stop, it's not supposed to be in the play. Something went wrong. Anyhow, he ends up being honored by the actors in the play. He gets in the play himself. It was just heartwarming. You know, that was a, a review of The Drowsy Chaperone. And the man who is played by Alexander Sherwin, he reminds me of Gene Wilder, his personality, his actions. So it was a really good character and I really do sympathize with him. We love Broadway.